here. Happy Thursday, guys. I decided to do a get ready with me and decided why not bring you guys along. So it's Thursday, it is date night. We normally do date nights on Friday or Saturday, but I kind of wanted to switch it up and do it on Thursday. Um, and I really have been wanting to go to this restaurant. So I figure let's do a get ready with me from start to finish. So it's raining outside and I want to say it's going to be raining for most of the day. Yes, it is rainy. Not only is it rainy, it is cold. Um, I did wash my hair and apply a product yesterday. Um, I've been using, so I'm trying to think. Taraji Benson, you guys know she has a hair care line. She had a yellow collection that I wasn't a fan of. Um, but recently she came out with this green collection and I tried it. This is the second time that I tried it yesterday. Might be replaced in my Olaplex. I'm just saying. So I got the long run pre-treatment and I'll link these below for you. Um, I got the so lengthy strengthening and lengthening shampoo. And then I got the new level strengthening and lengthening conditioner. And I saw it in Target. I'm my own business in Target. Actually, I'm not. I'm buying things I shouldn't buy in Target. And I came across it. And the first thing that I noticed when I picked it up was that it is infused with biotin and Jamaican black castor oil. And if you want to get me to buy a hair care product, put Jamaican black castor oil in it. Check and check out. <laughs> So it's the second time I've tried them, love them, and of course I went with my usual leave-in in jail. I will link it below for you. So I'm trying to decide. I say all that to say my hair is still a little wet, and I'm trying to decide if I want to dry my hair and wear it out, or since it's already raining, just pin my hair back and put on a fedora. Because did I tell you I have no idea what I'm wearing? I have no idea what I'm wearing. So I'm about to hop in the shower because I just got back from the gym. Um, I'm going to hop in the shower, skincare, makeup, and then we're going to decide what we're going to wear. Because we're going to um, Cayo Coco. It's a really nice restaurant. I might bring you guys. Why not? And then we're going to see the new Creed movie. Creed 2? Creed 3? Creed 4? How many Creeds is it? Creed 3? The newest Creed movie. So we're going for dinner and a movie. Um, so I'll take you guys to the restaurant in case you're in Birmingham and you want to like see the vibes. I love this place. <laughs> um, they have great drinks. I just, it's the closest to Cuban food that I'm going to get to the food that we had when we were in Havana. It's, it's as close as it's going to get. So, yeah. <laughs> I listened to um, either <laughs> Boyz II Men or Brian McKnight, Pandora. That was Brian McKnight, even though it had Boyz II Men. You get what I'm saying? So we are fresh out of the shower. We are, I have on a Skims robe. I don't know if they still have it online, but if so, I will link it. It's just a really long, I don't know, satin silk. It feels really good fresh out of the shower. I'm about to do a really quick um, wipe down because of course, like I said, I went to the gym. I'm a little sweaty. I'm using my Ula Henriksen. I need to go to Sephora because I am using the last little bit of my cleanser. So I'm not gonna do anything special. Like I said, I just did my skin routine earlier this morning. So I'm gonna go to the cleanser. I'm gonna go to the Kiehl's eye cream and then we're just gonna finish that off with the um vitamin c moisturizer nothing fancy let me put on my little things that tiktok made me buy these are wrist some things i don't know what they're called but i like them because they prevent the water from sliding down considering that i just lotion my body i'd rather not have to re-lotion my arms so and i only have to lotion my hands What'd your mom say? What? What'd your mom say? She said, no ma'am, we're fine. What'd you, what did she say? Oh. 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 All right, let's head over. 
for vanity and we're going to have to do makeup on also i don't know if you can tell monday and it's in one of my recent vlogs but monday i had a tooth extracted and i don't know if you guys can tell it's still swollen on this side like this fine it's still swollen right here I told myself i wasn't gonna go out if it was still swollen because it's thursday it happened monday no Tuesday. I guess two days in that bag. Okay, let's go put the makeup on. We are in the accessories closet. I'm probably not going to show my whole makeup routine because I have quite a few out there. And the one I'm about to do, um, I know for sure is out there. So I will link that below. It's the one where it's like, I think it was like, get ready with me in a make a pregnancy Q&A. Anyway, I'll link it maybe up here in the cards so you guys can reference it. But I'll be on here long enough to talk through my outfit. So, let's talk about outfit. Like I said, it's cold. And it's rainy. So, off the top, I know I'm not wearing any of my, sh my sneakers. Because I don't want to get them wet. <laughs> so, that's off the top. So, I know that I want to wear a pair of boots. Of course, not suede boots. I want to wear a pair that you can like easily wipe off. And it's nice rain repellent um also the and this is my thought process with most outfits I want to know the conditions I want to know where we're going I want to know the vibe of where we're going and that will determine my outfit um so like I was saying it's cold it's rainy so off the top sneakers are out um mules will probably be out um just because it's rainy and I recently bought a couple of new mules and I don't want to get them wet um, so right now that just leaves boots that can, uh, like non-suede, you know, type boots. So that's one thing. Could I wear an umbrella? Could I bring an umbrella? I probably could, but I've already determined that I'm going to put on a fedora because I don't feel like blow drying this. And I really like to let my air, my hair air dry. So I've already decided we're going to put on a fedora and just pull our hair back in a bun. So we've already got the top. We've got the top. <laughs> And we know we're going to put on boots. We've got the shoes. Now we go to the jacket because, of course, it's cold. Um, so the parking at both the restaurant and the movies is not covered. So that automatically cancels out a lot of my cloth type jackets and coats. Um, I don't want anything that can get wet and hold on to the rain because if it gets wet and holds on to the rain, now I'm cold. And one thing I don't like to be is cold and uncomfortable. Those are the two things I don't like to be. Um, so I know I'm going to have to wear a kind of rain type jacket. Just thinking about what all I have in my closet, I know I only have three, three type of those kind of jackets that would be cute going out. I have a couple, but um, Nike ones, but those are really for the gym. So I have a Zara one that's really not going to work when I think about the vibe I'm going for. And I have one from Forever 21, like a faux leather. I have a couple of faux leather jackets, but I really wanted to wear a coat and not a jacket. So then that leads me to, and I'll pop it up here. Maybe I'll pop up a little video to this one that I got at a local boutique when I was in Mexico City. I know, like I said, the jacket is brown and beige, right? I think I want to wear either the solid brown coffee fedora or I want to wear the combination caramel macchiato hat. I think I just want to wear, or the sand because I don't like to have two different things stand out. And I, auto I automatically know that I'm going to get questions about the jacket because that's going to stand out. So I think I just want the jacket to stand out and let all the other pieces of, where is my brush to blend my pencil? I think I just wanna wear the um, jacket be the standout. Wait a minute guys, I'm so confused, there it goes. Um, let the jacket be the standout and let all the other pieces of the outfit kind of blend in. So I'm either going to do the coffee fedora. I'm not going to do the combination as I'm talking to you guys. I'm either going to do the coffee fedora or I'm going to do the sand fedora. I literally have a photo album in my phone just, just says outfits. 
in the outfits that I think are really cute that I know I want to recreate, I'll save that in there. Um, so as I'm thinking, I'll pop up a picture here. I took this out. I took this so long ago. Um, but I loved the vibes that that oversized dress gave me. Now, I don't have that dress anymore because sisters, they steal. I know you guys are like, oh, you guys, your sisters are so close. They're thieves. And I no longer have that dress because it was stolen. Um, but I just picked up something very similar in Cuba. Not Cuba. What am I thinking? Thinking of the restaurant. Something similar in London. Now, it is sleeveless, but that's okay because I am going to have a jacket on. Also, the last time I remember going to this restaurant, it was a little toasty. So maybe that would work. So I could put on... And if that's the case, then I'll probably put on the coffee fedora because the dress is like a cream. Coffee fedora, coffee and cream, and cream jacket, beige dress, brown boots. That sounds like a vibe. Let me finish my makeup up. And everything that I'm thinking about is upstairs in my office, cloth-office. Let me finish my makeup up and then I'll meet you guys upstairs. Alright, okay, like Kenny, I'm gonna put you on mute right now. Okay, this is a jacket that I was telling you about. I actually got it, uh, like I said, in Mexico City. I like to go to like boutiques, especially, I don't care where I'm going, I always like to shop local to see what they have. And I actually picked this up at, it was like a, what do you call it when you have a bunch of vendors selling a market or something like that? So I picked this up and I, haven't worn it yet. We went to Mexico City in 2022. Yeah, haven't worn it yet. So I'm going to wear it with this. This is the um, dress that I was telling you guys about. I got it actually in Brussels at a store called Arquette. And it goes pretty low on me. There's a joy of being short according to industry standards. I thought I was average height. And then I'm going to pair it with these boots. Probably the best Walmart purchase I've ever had. And then I need to pair it with a coffee fedora. And a coffee fedora. I have some browns hanging here. But then whatever doesn't hang here, I have to hang in there. So we're going to pair it with this. That's going to be so cute. I need a handbag. Um, hmm. I know, in case you don't, in case no one ever told you, whenever it's raining, please don't wear your designer bags out because even though it gets wet and you can wipe them off, you just want to keep the quality of them. So, there's no designer bags going out today. And when I mean designer, I mean like a thousand dollars plus. No Louis Gucci Prada is going out today. Um, and I kind of want to wear. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't want to have too many shades of beige and brown going on. I could wear this to break up the monotony of the brown and give a little, this is the coach. I don't know, I got it from the outlets. Probably one of my fave coach outlet purges. The fashion in me wants me to wear this shearling bag but the other part is like alicia it's raining outside put it back and then the only other option would be this brown brahmin bag that easily wipes off but i think it's too like it's too many i think that's too many shades of brown i think i'm just gonna do the I don't know. We'll see. We'll put the outfit on. All right. So love the outfit. The only caveat is this dress is short. It's not shorter than I thought. The sides, see that, are shorter than I anticipated. And as a result, you can see my shorts. Um, but it's fine because I don't, even when I do take the jacket off for dinner, I'll probably take it off and just like sit it by my side. And then for the movies, no one's going to see it. So I'll probably moving forward, if I decide to like wear this without a jacket, 
we'll get some leggings to put under it but for now the jacket the jacket is doing what the jacket needs to be doing i'm telling you i don't have a link i'm sorry y'all i don't have i got it from a random boutique in mexico city and i don't have a link i apologize maybe i'll try to find see if they have something but i'm loving the shades of brown loving the shades of brown Anyway, I'm gonna go. We're supposed to be leaving at five and I have 10 minutes to spare. So I'm gonna go and I will um, catch up with you guys when we're at the restaurant. All right, really quick before we head out, do you wanna show the people your outfit? Oh, you're, you have a tag on. Wait a second, is that a tag? Or is that, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's just the back of it. There's just the tag on the shirt. Do you wanna show the people what your your outfit uh, well yeah let me go first because they've already seen mine things. they've already seen mine Two -tone the hat raincoat. they've seen my outfit Chocolate. they've seen my out you saw this jacket i got in mexico city yeah but they didn't get my antics with it no. okay got it you want to show the people corduroy button down shirt wearing it as a jacket from gap on sale clearance we, bucks. we don't need to prices amsterdam 345 bango we People who love art. We don't need And some price. regular Forever 21 jeans and some uh, tennis shoes from Zara. Okay, where'd the beanie come from? Beanie came from H&M. H&M. So this is his outfit. All right, now let's go eat. Oh, such a gentleman. Thank you so much. All right, so this is the rum bar. What is this, First, yep. First Avenue North? It's so cute. It's definitely really cute if the sun was out. Be able to like sit out here. William. I'm, I'm literally going to punch you in the face. It's so cute out here. William, I don't want to sit out here. It is wet. Oh no, it's fine. I thought you meant like outside, outside. Hi, how are you? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Do you care where? No, that's okay. Hi, how are you? We're here super early. The movie doesn't start until 8.15. It's 8.10, so we've got five minutes. So while there's still a little light left in the movie, thank you guys for joining me on this Get Ready With Me. I'll make sure to link everything that I showed if I can find the links. If not, I'll find good substitutes. And I'll see you guys next vlog. Later.